Hello everybody and thank you for coming back to the channel and to the P47 build. The next step is to paint the whole thing, which is going to be a humongous approach. I've got the paint, I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough. I've chosen, it's kind of a grey motif and with some red touches and then the invasion stripes, like 1944-ish I believe it was. Um, but before I do that, I need to fix the nose block. If you remember, I built it, I put it together, but then Richard very kindly explained to me how it has to be done, so I, I need to take the propeller off. I'm going to need to take off the plywood that is in here. You can't see, but it's in there. Then glue this, what I call the donut, onto the fuselage, and uh, just use the, the plywood sheet as, a, as the thrust, also thrust direction and the thrust plate. So. Um, some work to do before I go on painting. I want to do that before I paint because I want to make sure that it also fits in nicely and snugly in inside and uh, then that I can paint somehow around it, not on it but around it. So that's the first challenge then, before painting even, have to do some fixing. And to do that, so a part of taking the propeller off, um, I'm going to have to take off this plate and I really glued it in very nicely and snugly I put in a lot of effort into it I even drilled in some holes but I need to now figure out a way of ungluing it in a way that it fits to that size so what I'm going to do and uh, not that I bought it that for this but I got myself a power a power drill like a Dremel like the cheap version of the Dremel in case you don't know it probably probably know where it comes from and um, I haven't used it much yet, so I'm keen to try to use it. Worst case scenario, I have to redo the nose block. Because I won't record that one again. But I think I'll be able to get it out. I want to drill in some holes um, at this height, like from the, this side, so that I make sure that the plate will then also slide in. And then use those holes as a guide. And then maybe on the other side then cut. So let's see how it goes. And I get to use one of the new toys I have, which is great. And no, I still have not started to paint. I know this is the chapter about the paint, but what I've been doing now, I've been fixing the shape of the, the cowling. Um, when it was with the, with the propeller mount, it was kind of okay, but when I wanted to stick it on, there was actually a lot of, let's say, inconsistencies. So the, the first lessons learned, what I should have done better, first mi mistake I did about building it, but then also I should have done the correction before I actually put in the tissue covering. If I put the tissue covering on and the planking and then this on, then I would have been able to sand it down together and, um, and then actually put the tissue around it. So I'm trying to correct that mistake, again another mistake. And uh, what I'll be doing now, I'll be gluing it and hopefully it will match kind of there. And then I have to put also maybe, a, I'm thinking, to put a little strip of, uh, of tissue also around it to, to somehow weld it in, not weld it, but somehow that uh, connect it to the rest of the fuselage as best as possible. So even before the painting, still a lot of work to correct past mistakes. So let's see if I get this stuck and I start with the painting. Let me show you the progress, what I've done so far. So I've glued on the engine cowling, the red donut that I call. I've covered it in tissue also and uh, stretched it at least once, maybe I should do it again and uh, that should be okay. One thing that I've done, if you notice, is I've changed the propeller. This is the kind of the original propeller, the wooden one, and I wanted to try the plastic one that I had to see if it would be any better. I don't feel any difference. I don't know if it has more, more thrust in it or not, so I'm really not sure. I don't know what you think. Will the, which one should have more thrust? A four-bladed, handmade, not very well-made propeller done by me or a two-bladed plastic rubber-powered uh, propeller for rubber-powered airplanes? I don't know. So I'll leave this one on for the moment, so for the tests. It will have an impact then when flying because uh, I'm sure they're different weight. But anyhow, that's on the propeller front. Now, on the, on the color scheme, scheme what I've uh, done, as you can see, I've started to paint. Now, but before I go into that, let me tell you and show you a little bit my thoughts. Originally, I thought, when I, originally and I will be doing it, I'll be painting the P-47. I wanted it to be American, as uh, in honor of all our American friends. And it's going to be one from the 405th 
fighter group from the USAF or USAAF in the 9th Air Force from 1944-45 uh, fighting out of England and also within the, the D-Day activities so that's what it's going to go for I went for that one because it has a relatively simple scheme and uh, I like the red nose and the red details on it then afterwards what I found I have this book from my father I have lots of books and stuff he, he was really helping me in my hobby and uh, I found this image over here let's see if you can see it which is also a P-47 uh, also the bubble canopy I'm not sure exactly what squadron it is but this, uh, it's just, these are artworks, these are paintings and this would also be a relatively simple design to use, right, to, to draw so I'm going to keep this one kind of as the backup uh, I'm not going to go to it because I already have the canopy painted red but uh, this is something that I was looking for a simple scheme and actually I had it in my bookshelf and I hadn't even cared to look into it so next time I have to look into into the material that I have as I do have some material, there's even a TBF, I also did a TBF once now to the challenge of the painting because what I'm using, I'm using a set of paints these are, it's like nine paint, nine, nine colors but rather small pots and I've started to paint already the tail surfaces let's see if I can pick one up you see I've already painted it I'm going to need another layer of paint that's because it's not completely perfect well it won't be completely perfect ever but it's it's not covering completely and uh, I've also started to paint here the tail surfaces where you can see the imperfection even more so I'm going to need to order another packet of these paints but it's going to be a bit of a waste so the challenge now is do I have enough with this and it's half used because I used it on another model also before to do two layers of the whole plane I don't think so maybe even two pots of these might not be enough so what I'm going to do I'm going to use this to paint the upper part of the of the model and then I've got to figure out what other greyish color I can find or paint I can find for the underside on the paintings that I do see I do see that it's two different shades the, the underside is a little bit darker and it has also the, the invasion stripes and the, that which makes it look fancy more complicated but anyhow the challenge now is like I don't think I'm going to have enough paint even if I order another pot uh, I'm not keen on doing it because it's ordering nine just to get one color and uh, I'll be looking then for another another pot of paint anyhow very long process, challenges at every single point and I haven't even started with the markings with the beautiful American stars that they are as beautiful as they are complicated so I'm almost out of paint of the grey paint and I'm waiting for the new package of paint to come over I have started already with the top fuselage it's a bit darker than I would have hoped but uh, it's what it is and I've also put on the green shading evidently I'm going to need at least two coats of paint on on the whole model so I'm really going to have a problem with paint the bottom is still completely uncovered uh, unpainted so that's also going to take up a lot of paint and I'm thinking what kind of paint or how to how to work around that so that's uh, that's kind of the, the headache at the moment now in order to save paint what I want to do I want to try to do the markings already now I was thinking of painting and then on top of it painting the markings but especially for the underbelly uh, because the invasion stripes are going to go here, I've been marking them already, I don't think here's the invasion stripes will go from here up to here, so quite a lot and uh, also on the other side and also on the under fuselage here is where the white and black stripes will go here the, the star and uh, I have to figure out how to do it so there's uh, also some logistics built into that so I'll probably be checking what are the dimensions exactly of the um, insignia and then trying to cut them out of card and then probably put them onto masking tape cut it out on a piece of glass stick it on, paint through all the whole thing so it's quite a lot of logistics to do but uh, as I have to do it anyhow and I don't have uh, enough paint to continue much of the painting then I thought I would do that and, uh, and let's see how it goes so it's not just painting but also markings which I thought I would do at the end so I did get a new packet of paint which is good um, but I'm struggling more and more with, uh, with the painting uh, what I did do, I managed to draw out the shape of the star and then I transferred it onto some masking tape and cut it out on a pane of glass idea from Cliff, there's many 
and uh, I did it first, I tried to do it on the side of the fuselage and I failed, it ended up all stuck to itself so I couldn't use it, so I tried on the wing and so far I just managed to stick it on and I'm going to try to do the, the paint, I'm going to try to paint it first blue and then I've got to figure out what other shapes I have to put together so that on top of it I can paint on the, the white star and the bars which is uh, nice and complicated um, as yesterday I was failing with, uh, with the star on the fuselage I decided to put on masking tapes tape and uh, try to paint the, the white bars, the invasion bars and or stripes, sorry, the invasion stripes so they're there, it's not too good because I'm using the, the normal brush but I think at the distance, if you don't look too hard, it's going to look okay. So I still probably need to touch it up a little bit and then putting also the, the black stripes. And then of course on the other side. What I'm not liking at all so far is the grey that I have. It's, it's really very dark. I look more and more at the, at the design and it's, I think it's too dark. It might be good enough for the underside. But uh, for the top I want it much paler. So what I'm thinking of doing is using the new pot of paint to cover the underside, paint the underside with it, minus then the stripes, minus the white and the black stripes, which is a significant portion of the, of the surface. And then I've got to figure out either buy or mix quite a big part of, uh, of paint that it's very pale gray, because this is significantly it's too dark. So I'm going to have to do it very pale gray and let's see if I can get it to cover well. So struggling with the paint, but uh, learning experience of course and now what I'm going to do I'm going to try to paint this blue so that I start to get the shape of the of the, um, the insignia and if that works actually it will be proof of concept because then I'm going to have to do another one on the other side of the, of the wing and, uh, and then on the fuselage which is going to be complicated as yesterday I failed but second attempt seems to be working so let's see how it goes a bit of progress so far so as you see the, the blue marking it's kind of okay, like I'm, it's good enough for me. And I've put on top with masking tapes, with like 10 slivers of masking tape, I've put on the shape. For that what I used, I used a small template of the star that I cut out, here it is. I laid it on it and then with a pen I put some dots and used that as a guide to put on the masking tape. Now on top of the masking tape I painted blue again, and this again something that I learned out of Cliff's videos, so that if there's any bleeding of the paint, then it's going to be blue paint what bleeds and on top of it what I'm going to put is then the, the white star then I still have to put in some white in here and there so quite elaborate, quite time consuming and another thing that I've managed to do I've managed to put some masking tape here on the side of the fuselage and what I did this time instead of having one whole sheet with the, with the, the stencil basically with the shape of the, of the blue part then I have it on three independent uh, strips of uh, masking tape and I managed kind of to stick it. I have here these marks which is to align, I did it when it was stuck on the glass and then I, I could align here. So these are actually two different pieces. And what I'm going to do with this is also similar, I'm going to paint in some black over here so that the, the blue doesn't bleed out and some white over here and then black again here. I do not have much space here, maybe some wider masking tape would have been useful but it's, uh, it's what I have, or maybe to do more like instead of three pieces, maybe four pieces but anyhow, this experiment, this one seems to have worked I'm going to go on with this one, so paint in black, black and white and when that is dry then blue and if that goes well then I'll do also the other side so kind of figuring th new things out which is as always not easy but interesting so Hopefully next time I'll have something nicer to show, not just some painted masking tape. So a little bit of progress with the markings and the painting. Here on the wing, the star actually comes out quite sharp. Now I've recovered it with uh, masking tape so that I can do the white stripes on the side. But I'm happy with how sharp it is. Not perfect, but, uh, but not bad. So I've also started to do it with uh, fuselage stars and I've painted in the stars now. What I did do again, as I mentioned before, I painted first with blue so that if there's any leakage and there will be some kind of bleeding or leakage of paint under the tissue, then it bleeds in the color that's already there. So let's see if, uh, if it works this time. And then one thing that I tried to do, that I, a new experiment, I don't know if you can see it, 
but on this area I used another painting technique. If you notice here I'm doing with a, with a brush, with a normal brush. I don't know why I have it but it's uh, here it is. This kind of size brush and then I have a smaller one also for the for the details and it's quite irregular. So I, for sure I'm, well, I'm going to need another layer, another coat of paint. But what I tried here, I tried it with a sponge. I got the idea from Tim the plain man who said I should use sponges and then he actually specified the special brushes that are sponge brushes. I did not find them but what I did I took a sponge from the kitchen, a new one actually not an old one. I cut off a little corner, a longish corner and I started to use this as a brush. So instead of brushing with a normal brush I'm tippy tapping like dunking it a little bit in the paint and tippy tapping in it and uh, it looks better. I think I'm going to use the technique more. I can't get up to the edges so accurately as you can see here so I'm still going to need the, the classical brush for the edges because there's not so much control over it but I think it's going to look better so then for the underside I'll probably be using that technique so let's see how it goes. My white paint is very chunky it just diluted it a little bit more because I think it's one of the reasons why it's not so nice is that it's maybe a bit dry maybe too not not diluted enough so I'm putting a little bit of water it's acrylic so I hope it doesn't ruin it too much and, uh, and then there's progress so then when this is over then of course then the white marking is still missing and then the whole underside and the plan is to do it this same dark color and then paint the, the upper side in a, in a paler color and of course here you can see also on the green the, the brush marks where it's not covering up completely so I might use also the, the, the sponge approach on the on the green markings here. So let me give you the last update on the painting. Stars, I think you've seen them already. I'm not even sure what I've shown you or not. Very time consuming. There's still one star left, which is in progress. And there's quite a lot of engineering about the layers because the, the, the stars go over the invasion stripes. So I have to see, I have to figure it out how it goes. And uh, so still to do that, right? Then on this other side, has come out. There, it's starting to look already better. I started already to put the grey paint. I'm doing this with the sponge, this tippity tap technique that I call it. There's still some spots missing, but I think these are going to be easy somehow to cover up later. It's it's still irregular, but it's irregular in a regular way. I'm not sure how to explain it. It's not like the brush that it's irregular in an irregular way. This is uh, this tippity tap approach is irregular in a regular way. Um, the paint has coming under the masking tape sometimes even if I had done the, uh, painted it white before so maybe the, the tape wasn't well on the black stripes look good the white ones not so good here I still leave this and I've painted already white and then I'm going to paint grey gray on top of it so this is going to be the next step and then here I'll also be putting the masking tape and uh, and doing with black and I've started already with the tail fin the, the underside of the tail fin so Still quite a lot to do, next will be to finish the underside in grey and then come up to the top and figure out how to paint it in a paler grey which is, um, I'm sure it's easier said than done and then fix up the green and, and all these things so quite a lot to do still, so I'm going to finish it off here so still quite a lot of painting in front of me and uh, I'll update you hopefully when it already starts to look, I hope, significantly better Thank you everybody for watching and see you next time.